Hey everyone, this is Chip Glennon, and welcome back to my video blog. You know, I've had uh, I've had a few people ask me recently, particularly some of our clients. Um, I've had questions about, you know, what how important is it in this market to um, to to get your home price exactly right? And what I can tell you is probably among all the important variables, 180 variables in the home selling process, there there's very few as important as getting your home priced absolutely in the sweet spot. So there's four main things that we talk about and we spend a lot of time trying to educate our clients on. Um, it, the location is, is very important when it comes to real estate, always an important factor. The condition of your home is extremely important as it's competing with other properties in the marketplace. Um, and the marketing is, is a very important one and that's the only one that we have control over. And then of course, um, uh, the price of your home is, so three of those four factors, you as the seller, um, ha have the, you have the decision making power on those those things. So what I always I, I really like to drill down on is um, when when we sell anything, whether it be a an antique Corvette, you know, a, a very rare vehicle, or whether it's your home and your real estate, um, it's it's just so important that it's priced right. And let me explain why. So if you're out there shopping for, let's say, a 1963 vintage Corvette and, and you really have spent hours upon hours and all your free time on the Internet just looking and educating yourself and you've really become a student of a 1963 Corvette and what that vehicle might be worth, um, you probably, and you've looked at a lot of them, you've sat in a lot of them, you've walked around them, you've, you've found out what it costs to renovate one and restore a vehicle like that. Um, and you've just become a master of what the market will bear for a 1963 Corvette. And then somewhere across town, somebody puts a 1963 vintage Corvette on the market and they ask 150000 for it. And you have for months, maybe even years, have been studying what these vehicles were worth. And you know in your heart of hearts that a 1963 vintage Corvette, no matter what, the best selling one in, this, in the universe has brought 200000 but the majority of vintage Corvettes bring around 100 to 115,000, let's say. And you know, I'm not a 63 Corvette expert, but most of the buyers out there that, that really look at and shop for these vehicles and collect them, they know exactly what they're worth. And so what happens is they see this $150,000 Corvette come on the market. They look at it, you know, they're interested, but they're like, "Hey, you know, this guy, he he's the market's going to do its thing and he he may not want to sell all that bad. You know, he'll sell if he can get his price. Well, the same thing applies in real estate. And what we find is there's a lot of sellers who want to leave, leave wiggle room uh, on their on their price because they assume all the buyers are going to come in with an aggressive low price. And honestly, that's not the case. And particularly in a market like this where we have a shortage of inventory, if as a seller you truly have the courage to price your home in the sweet spot, and it's it's a really difficult thing to do, I know, but if you have the courage and you hire somebody who can really give you the 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 education and the information you need to know what that sweet spot is because these home buyers I'm telling you folks they are spending all their free time every hour going and looking at home shopping on the internet looking and when one's overpriced more than five percent maybe ten percent tops but put more like five to seven percent if it's over that from the sweet spot they are gonna sit home and continue to shop online now occasionally they'll call their agent and go, ah, we want to go see this one, but it's just too high. You know, they've been looking. The disadvantage for a lot of sellers is they haven't had the luxury of going through home after home after home and they haven't spent hours upon hours upon hours, two to three hours a night on the internet looking at homes like theirs. They're probably looking at homes uh, that are like the one they want to buy, but not as much looking at ones like the ones they that, that they're trying to sell. So really what we want to do is just make sure when you do price your home, you're getting the right information, the right advice, and you get it priced in that sweet spot. And I'll tell you what that does is it ends up keeping you from making 15, you know, 10, 15 more house payments, taxes, maintenance, utilities, insurance, than are really necessary. Um, and you add all those things up and it really can end up being, you know, in the double digits um, uh, in extra house payments and so forth when you could have priced it right and got it sold and not risk the market changing or interest rates going up on you. Um, and, and so really that's kind of all I have and I got a little more lengthy than I wanted but um, I think you get the point and if you'd like to know more about it just call me. I'd love to help you out and give you a free market evaluation. Remember you can call us, text us, email us, all the numbers here on the screen and I appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time. Have a great day.